Aloha ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kika Tips. I'd like to welcome you to the world of mixed musical arts. We're located in Honolulu, Hawaii. Our number is 384-7223. Uh, now let me expound on what, we, what, what I'm talking about. Here at our Guitar Institute of Hawaii, our Musicians Institute of Hawaii, our Kika Institute of Hawaii, and the Guitar Foundation of Hawaii. This is what we've been working on for all these years, 30 years plus. Okay, this is the mixed musical arts. Dealing with chords, chord designs with open and barre, scales, arpeggios, um, lead and supported volume, guitar solos, so um, motifs. Motif is a small idea. A supported volume is what you use when you somebody takes the lead, and when you take the lead, you come out like camp school, come loud and proud, come out, but not too loud. Control the energy. What we're dealing with here is the law of relativity. Energy equals mass equals uh, time and equals uh, exponential um, uh, exponential um, achievements. So we've got guitar solos, motifs, phraseology, accompaniment, um, business, music business, repertoire, different styles, recording, um, composition, transcription, and then we have a uh, transposition. Now moving on to tetrachords, we have uh, perfect and relative pitch vocal training. We have um, we have the solos starting from a point of relaxation, going up to a climax and coming back down. We we're working all of, we're working on all of these things. Um, also linguistics, being able to um, sing and speak in different languages. We have a student that sings. Um, uh, Go for me, Panima in Spanish. It's very beautiful. Uh, we have what is called sweeps with arpeggios, dives, bends, double hand techniques, single string technique techniques. We have chord chemistry. We have, we have the different styles: of flamenco, classical, originals, blues, bossa nova, classic rock, kihu alu, Hawaiian contemporary, reggae, gospel music. We have the chromatic scale, the major scale, the minor, the natural minor scale, the a melodic minor scale, the harmonic, harmonic minor scale. We have all the modes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian. We have the modes. And then we have the major and minor pentatonic scales, the five tone scales, and then we also have the six tone scale, which is the blues scale. Uh, we have the chromatic major and minor um, scales. The chromatic is the 12 tone scale, then from the 12 tone scale, when we study that, you have what is you call the enharmonic tones. Okay, and then uh, we, uh, we work with performance. That's why we film on YouTube. All of our students have to perform and also to get a job. Uh, which, once you get the job, or you start working, then you can get uh, you can get promotion. In other words, the, the venue wants you to promote your act and they want to know uh, what kind of people you're going to draw in and if you can join anybody in the first place, is your name well known? So we have to develop your name. That's business, okay? It's promotion. So um, the the power of thought is what makes a man or a woman successful. The, it's the ability to use the power of thought. So performances, uh, when you have a performance that you have um, music wage, um, you have discounts, uh, employees discounts, you have tips, $100 plus tips, plus you have a complimentary drink and food and that helps with the shelter. But we need food, drink, shelter, and work. Uh, we need and we need to be humble, and yet we need to dress up nice. When we do perform, we gotta look like movie stars. The people, one person asked me, why do we use hats? Well, the reason why we use hats is to give the place class. When working with Rolando Sanchez, I learned um, a lot from him, you know? And it's, um, it's to give the place class, you know? That instead of being that same old mediocrity, you know, no, you want to be extraordinary, something different, you know. But, but then again, you have to back it up. Then we have music job wages, student tuition, contributions, donations, street fund wealth. Now, the street fund wealth is when you go to a gig, right, and then you, there's a band after you or, or before you, and they leave a music stand or, or they leave whatever. That's considered street fund wealth. That happens all the time. That's why I, I train my students, my Angela and I, to before you leave, do a walkthrough. You don't leave anything back. 
you know, I did a, a music performance for my auntie's funeral, and I, I left my chair over there. So not only uh, me, uh, Ledwood Kapani did a gig over at the um, Royal Hawaiian one time. He did a solo. When he left, he left his chair. So that's how it go, you know, relaxation, how to relax. We have the law of uh, relativity, which is energy equals mass. Mass being all, all the different constituents that that is relative. You know, like, for example, if you can play the guitar, you can play the bass. If you can play the guitar and bass, you can sing. It's relative. But not everybody understands that. The reason being is because of fear. Fear is the opposite of faith. Oh, I cannot do it. Oh, shame, man. I don't like, uh, you know, you, you just got to try. Life is full of mistakes. The only person that um, gets through a life that doesn't try is the person in the grave. You know, in, in life, we make mistakes. That's how it goes. The main thing is that we learn from the mistakes. We don't keep doing the same mistakes. We don't end up in prison. We don't end up hurt or we don't end up dead. Learn from the mistakes and that's how we learn and grow. So re relativity, E, energy. Um, everything is energy. You're playing too loud, you're playing too soft. Your enthusiasm, you know, what, what is the personality you're coming with? You know, what, what kind of energy are you making me happy? Are you making me sad? Do I have to stand up and walk out on you? You know, is your guitar flat? Is it in pitch? Is the energy levels correct? Are you singing on pitch or in pitch? You know, it's all energy. Even on drums, the tempo and meter is energy. The four, one, two, three, four, one. It's all energy. Now, energy basically deals with the atom, the atom, and molecules. Like everything that God created is covered and surrounded with energy. Uh, molecules, atoms, you name it. There's energy in, in the space. Like right here, we have space. There's energy in the space. That's how we have um, the, the YouTube and um, Facebook. It's all coming through the, the ether. It's full of energy. Initially, there was just, um, but they, they just found out uh, the radio waves, and then they, they progressed on. So uh, this is all part of the study. We have the law of relativity. E, energy equals mass, equals um, meter at uh, tempo, which is time. Einstein used this for the atomic bomb. He called that light speed. And then we have two, two square. So we have two times two is four, right? That's two square. So he said that's exponential energy and uh, wisdom and knowledge. Okay, we also have, uh, uh, you, we have muscle memory, pitch memory, data memory. You have the mindset, the tool set, and skill set. And we have the, the development of core muscles and active joints and breathing. It's important um, to breathe, B-R-E-A-T-H. Now, when you're sitting down, it's different from standing up. We have to do both. Um, so we want to accomplish the goal of being excellent and extraordinary and not just mediocre. So that goes with the head knowledge, having an understanding. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, good guitar players, I have, to, I have you to know. Are, are like doctors or pilots. They're very intelligent people, you know, and they're, they're precise people, and yes, no, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes a mistake, okay? So we are dealing with geography. We are we're dealing with math, mathematics. We are dealing with um, anything to do with math. But that's what it is. Even like playing pool, we're dealing with geography. You know, of designs and patterns and distance, angles, the triangle, the rectangle. So um, basically, that's what we're doing here. When you're dealing with the open chord, we're dealing with geometry. Like a D chord, you hold it properly. It's, it's like a, a triangle, isosceles triangle going up this way. You can also hold the, the triangle in a different uh, way, and then it'll be a different chord. We have chord chemistry. Um, where you can superimpose chords on chords, and then you're going to have a, a very interesting chemistry result. Um, and we also have the altered notes, like we have the flat fives, the flat seconds. We have the perfect eights, perfect fifteenths. Huh? We have the major and minor seconds, the major and minor thirds. We have the augmented fourths, augmented. We have the uh, perfect fourths, augmented fourths, diminished fourths. We have the perfect fifths, augmented fifths, diminished fifths. 
You have the major and minor six, the major and minor seven, and the perfect eight. And we have the major and minor ninths, the major and minor tenths, and we have the perfect eleventh and augmented eleven, and the diminished eleven. We have the perfect twelve, the augmented twelve, the diminished twelve. And then we have the major and minor thirteens. We have the major and minor fourteens, and then we have the perfect octave. So the sixth is the ninth, the fourth is the eleventh, the sixth is the thirteenth. Uh, those are the your extensions uh, of music itself. Here you have just some of the things that we work on. We also have deal with a break. I learned that from Howard Roberts when I went to uh, the Los Angeles uh, Guitar Institute of uh, Technology. It's called MI. So uh, it was taken over. But um, at that school, our teachers were Ron Ashley, Don Mott, Don Mott, Larry Carlton, Joe Pass, Mondell Lowe, Howard Roberts. Um, I, yeah, but I, I did get to meet Les Paul, George Benson. I mean, just to name name some some of the people, I used to go to the Merv Griffin show, and I used to that's where I saw um, Oscar Peterson, and I used to wait outside to shake these people's hands. Yeah, it was very interesting. All the top players to see how they were. Lee Rittenauer, um Yeah, Larry Carlton. All these nice people. Guitar virtuosos. Also, it's important to uh, utilize the law of relativity. You know, to, here in Hawaii, playing the guitar is okay, it's good for the Hawaiian songs, but you gotta sing background, you gotta sing lead, and you gotta, you gotta play the bass, and you gotta play the ukulele. I learned that from uh, my, uh, my uh, classmate, Philip Akau, uh, Mott Jimenez. His uh, father was Louis Akau. We used to watch him at the Queen Surf. Tommy Sand used to be there, you know, we got to meet all of those people. Um, the, I was told, when, when, when I was studying with Philip, uh, that the mother told me, who was a taxi driver at the time, said, you gotta play the guitar here in Hawaii, Hawaii music, you gotta play the bass and you gotta play the ukulele. And sure enough, the bass took me around the world. There's so many guitar players that, that need guitar to sing, right? The bass is subservient, you're in them behind. You just keep in time. You want it to be on pitch. The energy level gotta be correct. And the timing, so that the energy is used in that regard, the law of relativity. Playing in tune, playing in time, playing the right changes. So what I'm doing is I'm just sharing with you what's on my son's heart and my heart. My son went to the same school that I went to in Los Angeles. He went to the Guitar Institute of Technology in Hollywood, California. I also went to um, different, I took lessons here from Jimmy Funai, Doug Forsythe, Doug McDonald. Um, I took uh, lessons from uh, Leeward Community College. At the, I got my 101 at the University of Hawaii with uh, Byron, Lasu, Byron Yasui. Yeah, and then I attended uh, all the different guitar classes that that they um, created at the university. Because what, what happened is we started the first annual guitar festival at Kapiolani Capula, Park. Semi here was on it. Um, John Raposa. Um, we, we even had um, the other half of CNK Capono. They, all these guys performed. My teacher Don Mock came down from Los Angeles, and also the Ron Ashti. And um, we had uh, some good uh, backup. No Lokimoto played the drums, and, and we had some uh, good backup players at the time. So they know who they are. These local backup players, bass players, excellent. So the list goes on and on. Promotion, you work on the boats, you do the boat cruise, you fly to the different um, destinations via the Hawaii Conventions Bureau to bring tourists here. Um, you know, also, you know, you fly to different places just to learn, come back and share your manao and wisdom with the people here on the island of Oahu. Because we have 1.4 million people, there's the, the music is diverse. Everybody loves music and there's all these different styles. So when, you, when you're performing, you get to read the audience. I learned that from Grendel Pang when we did the uh, Canada. Went to Calgary and Edmonton. Banff, Banff, yeah. He used to stand by the door and he used to just look at the audience. And then we performed and he would, he would um, dedicate songs and he would mention names. 
and then uh, he would that would determine what kind of songs to play. And so I asked him, "What? What? Why are you always looking out the go early? Why do you always look in and and uh, observe the people and talk to the people?" And he, he told me he's reading the audience. So here in Hawaii, you see young people. Okay, we they have uh, Keiki Kani, Keiki Waini. You know the type of music that they play. The Makua Kani, Makua Waini. That's our older type, 30s and 40s. And we have the Makuli Kani, Makuli Wahine, um, the 40s to 50s to 60s. Huh? And then we have the Kupuna Kani, Kupuna Wahine. Now we're talking about people 80, so you know, 60, 80 to 90. Um, so when, when we're dealing with the Keiki Kani, we're dealing with songs of 2018. Huh? Um, when we're dealing with the uh, uh, Makua Kani, we're dealing songs like from the 1960s, the Beatles, you know, and um, the newer, the newer, uh, 1960s, 1970s, you know, um, Fleetwood Mac, and those people. When we're dealing with Makuli uh, Kani, we're dealing with Frank Sinatra and with uh, Sarah Vaughan, and, uh, Todd Basie, uh, and we have, uh, yes, uh, the, the one, the master of jazz. You know, um, these are uh, African American uh, virtuosos that uh, came up from slavery. While, while they were playing music, it, uh, they were being persecuted. They couldn't stay in the same room. Um, yeah, Charlie Parker, all of those guys. Uh, and then we have the Kupuna. When you're dealing with the Kupuna, you're talking about the really old, old songs, you know, like, um, you know, uh, Beyond the Reef things like that, you know. Uh, yeah, just the old song that's very simple. That's what they want. For the kupunas, they want it simple. They don't want it com complicated. As you go to the kupunas, uh, as you go to the um, makuli, they want it simple. Keep Hawaiian Hawaiian, they say, right? Okay, then you get hired. Then you get the privilege of backing up uh, the hula dancers, both male and female, and to sing the harmony so you learn from the from the um, the leaders of the group, you know, the sensei that she uh, she hunts, the the Ali, you know, yeah, the the bandmaster, yeah. So you get to learn from all of these wonderful people. So, um, and the list goes on and on, everybody. So music is a part of our lives here, and. Uh, if we're looking for a change right now, so it could be you, or you, or you, that's going to innovate the music, get discovered, do a re record, and uh, we can uh, have your songs in um, the different stores, you know, you can sell your records, win a hoku, you know. I did get, um, Angelo and I got nominated for a hoku. Uh, we did the song Island Dream, featuring uh, uh, Eric Watanabe. Yeah, Eric Watanabe and uh, and my uh, Konoho, John Konoho, and uh, yeah, we did that. Uh, it's a song called. Um, uh, uh, it was called Hosanna, and then uh, uh, Randy Hongo, who passed away day one. You know, I just thank God for Randy, Randy Hongo. But yeah, it was nice going to the Hokus, being nominated. Um, the way you're gonna you're gonna be. Uh, the way you're going to know about the hokus, you're going to have to read it in a paper. John Berger's column, uh, Tom Moffat had his column, and also uh, Wen Harada's column. You read all about it. Things like that. That's how the business goes. Also, for the different radio stations, you have to play songs that match their format before they put it on rotation. You know, so basically, right now, we have what is called smooth jazz. Jazz is still squishy. You know, the real heavy on jazz. Right now, it's more. Hawaiian contemporary is a bigger ball, and reggae, which is an even bigger ball, by by you know by uh, servitude and by desire, and people like to hear things like that. So I'm taking the time to share with you what Angelo and I are all about and what we've been doing for over 30 years. We also had Kika uh, Tips on Olelo before they had YouTube, and uh, on. Uh, our Kika Tips and Olelo, we, we had the privilege of featuring Johnny Smith and uh, 
of the, the what's the name of the jazz guitar player of the rock guitar player Marty Friedman oh, Marty Friedman yeah and we had the some uh, other people from, uh, uh, from Mitch was on there Barry Yasui went was on there so you know the list goes on you know the main thing is that when I was going to school at Castle you know um, I took lessons from Tomo Fukui and Larry Fukunaga and uh, what I wanted is I wanted uh, uh, people like uh, Leonard Kaufana and then, uh, you know, the, like that to, to do more lessons. Uh, Keolo Bimo was doing lessons. You know, he, he, he came up with a beautiful book and I really loved I learned a lot from him, watching him and studying his book. Uh, but I wanted Peter Moon to perform and teach. So we did the guitar, annual guitar festival. And Byron Yasui, uh, he, he followed up and he had Pedro Kalpana and uh, my favorite uh, player to also teach, Keola Beamer and all the different people. Um, you know, and people like uh, uh, Kumu Kauhanu Lake, yeah, Tony Lindsay, all of these people. Um, yeah, working with Melvin Lee, I learned a lot from her. So there's so much to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And the list goes on. The main thing is you never give up. Great minds ask great questions. Always ask, find out, keep trying, keep trying. So if you make a mistake, learn from the mistake. Always try, you can do it. Your affirmations and your uh, your, your logging. You know, when you write in, use a sensory module perception. You, you write, you read, and you, you speak the information. So with that said, Angelo, mahalo nui, I love you all my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, ho'olohi, ho'uko, ho'olomua. I'd like to thank God for all of this. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.